here we have Solar Converters Inc. Voltage Control Switch. Model VCS number one. This is a DC relay switch, which allows me in my system to install a backup generator as a power source when the batteries get too low. So I'm going to show you a little bit about it and how it works, the different options involved here. You set the actual high and low voltage of your battery bank on the left, and then configure it in these four different schematics. And they're just small variations of each other for the different uses, and I'll go over each of them. It's quite a handy little unit as a backup um, switch. Here we have the use as a battery vent controller. If the voltage of the battery it would be high in this point, you would be able to have a fan turn on. And that would be for off-gassing if the battery voltage was possibly when they're equalizing or when it gets too high when charging. It off-gasses a lot, so the fan is useful to kick on necessary. This is a connection as a low voltage disconnect and here we would disconnect when the battery voltage got to a point where we wanted it to stop from draining to avoid any damage to the battery bank. Um, it would disconnect your load and see here we have NO on the left and NC. It's connected to NC. It's normally closed or normally open. So here we have a generator relay switch. This is what I'll be using in my system. You see how it's connected to NO, which is normally open, and then it's connected to the starting control of the generator. So when the battery voltage gets too low, it auto kicks the generator on and powers the batteries and the load that drain the batteries. Here we have a connection as a load controller, which just is a controller of the voltage that your load is taking from your power source and your batteries. And uh, here's the schematic for that. Well, those are the four options for this particular model. And um, I'll be making more videos as I install the equipment, but here it is. It's pretty easy to set up, pretty self-explanatory. Nice little unit. Just giving you a little video of what it looks like. And then you put the connections in. Torque them down with the screwdriver. There you go.